Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we'll be reacting to some Indonesian food in Los Angeles, uh, California, United States This video was suggested by Easty Eastern Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with the video Hi guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're gonna get started with the video. Hey, how's it going everyone? Steve, once again, from Rockstar Eater here in Culver City, which is one of the cool spots in LA to eat. And today I'm once again on an adventure to try some of the best and most unique foods in the city. And today I'm gonna to be trying Indonesian food. I mean, Indonesian food is something that I haven't really had too much. So I think this might be like the second time that I'm having it in my life here at this restaurant called Simpang Asia, which is what a lot of people call possibly the best Indonesian restaurant in LA, serving some of that authentic Indonesian food, which is pretty hard to find in a lot of cities because we're very acquainted with uh, like Asian food, like Japanese food and Chinese food, and of course um, some Pacific Island food like Filipino food. So today I wanted to show you guys exactly like what Indonesian food is like, to show you what dishes you should try, and to help you find, of course, some of the spot, hot spots here in LA. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, then please subscribe to Rockstar Eater and stick all the way to the end so that you can see what all this amazing Indonesian cuisine is all about. Simpang Asia has a really cool history because apparently when this restaurant started, it started in about 2002 as like a grocery store and it catered to mostly like students that are kind of like around the UCLA area and keep in mind that this is one of very few Indonesian restaurants on the west side of Los Angeles and then um, when this restaurant or this grocery store became really popular they quickly became a restaurant in no time like I think it's in 2003 that this uh, grocery store became a restaurant they expanded their seating so all of this in the back of me used to be part of the grocery store but now it's no longer a grocery store. Now it's a restaurant where they have pretty much seats and they have full on menu. And yeah, so now it's a bona fide Indonesian restaurant. I'm here in the kitchen of an Indonesian restaurant here at Simpang. And this is such a big kitchen. They have like so much going on here with like four different walks behind me. And they have like a, like a grill right over there. And they have like a salad bar right here. And another area that's right in front of me, of course. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how they cook some of this food, this Indonesian food here at Simpang. But what they're cooking here now is called the Mi Tak Tak, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's kind of like the Indonesian version of chow mein, but much tastier, you know, wok stirred and all that stuff. So of course, very Asian influence. So to give you a little bit of an overview about Indonesian food, apparently it's uh, it's very similar to like Malaysian and Singaporean food, like all within that southeastern region, but it has a little bit of a different style of presentation. And Indonesian food, if you look at it, it really does look like there were a lot of different influences in it. Like you can see a little bit of the Chinese influence, you can see some of the Indian influence, you can see some of, from what I heard, like the Dutch influence, like from Europe as well and all of that combines to make this uh, really interesting exotic food that I'm about to eat right now. Well, starting off, there's like a cool drink that I got today called the Es Sendol. This is something I've never heard of before. This is like a coconut milk with like sugar and pandan, pandan jelly. Pandan jelly, which is something that 
I don't remember if I've ever had before, but it does sound very appetizing. Mm. Yikes, that's great. I love it. It has like a coconut flavor to it. Milky, sweet, and then the jelly itself. So this is the Lemper. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna be butchering everything. Lemper, which is their sticky rice with the chicken inside. This is not a dessert, this is an appetizer, which is popular in Indonesia. Man, this is nice. It's like shredded chicken that's inside of it, and uh, sticky rice, had it before, of course, in Chinese cuisine. And it's kind of sweet too. There's like a little bit of a sweetness inside that I didn't quite expect, but it overall has a really nice flavor. I really like the savoriness of this chicken that's inside here, the shredded chicken that comes along with this rice. It's like a really good combination. So how this is, it is eaten in uh, Indonesia is that they have like a huge like circular plate. And th this one is like the less like um, epic version, kind of like a scaled down version. So that could be a little bit more like uh, restaurant friendly, especially if you're just eating it by yourself. But if you're going to go to Indonesia, it will like be huge. It will be like a big, big thing. And uh, where it will be served at festivals and people can eat like all around it, which is really cool. I mean, that's really, uh, it sounds really fun actually. Well, I'm gonna have a little festival myself just eating this right now. In terms of the way that they present it here, you see you got this cylindrical turmeric coconut rice. The turmeric coconut rice, which is characteristic of this festival rice in Indonesia. And some of this chicken saute with some shredded eggs. And we got the, uh, let's see, sambal egg, which is something I'm gonna be having for the first time and fried noodles, which I think is pretty much like the mi tek tek that I just had. And some of that beef. Oh boy, I don't wanna break this. Look how beautiful this thing looks, isn't it? It's like, maybe just take it off the top, like this maybe. Uh, okay, well, there goes the cone right there. Hmm, what about some of that chicken saute right there? Hmm. Delicious, coconut flavor, isn't that so cool? Like a really nice coconut flavor to this, so that means it's kind of sweet. Mm. Okay, and then the beef, so this is like a big piece of beef stew. This looks really delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one's pretty good. It's like it's soft, it's flavorful, it's nicely stewed. Mm. <laughs> this is the nasi bangka. So this thing right here, which is like wrapped in this banana leaf, supposed to have like eight different kinds of things in here. So I'm gonna unwrap it so I can show you guys what's in here. It's like, a, you know what this is like? It's like, you know the sticky rice in Chinese dim sum? It's like that, but bigger, and it has like a lot more going on in there, a lot more ingredients in there. The rice is pretty good. I'm gonna try some of that chicken curry, that piece of chicken. There's like a piece of chicken thigh in here. Mm. Wow, nice, very nice chicken curry. Very tasty. And the rice <clears throat> has some of that rice, um, that flavor from that egg that I just had earlier, the sim sambal egg. Oh man, this is like such an interesting dish. I mean, I've never really had anything like it. It's like, you open this banana leaf and you have like so many different kinds of foods and flavors in here. <clears throat> Everything from like the egg, to the chicken, to like the curry, to the sambal taste, and you got some of the vegetables. I mean, this right here is like a whole meal in of itself with so many different things going on. And they all work together pretty beautifully as well. So my, my overall impression is that, first of all, I'm really impressed with the food. I like it a lot. It's very flavorful, very nice uh, spices and different flavors going on. I would say it's very close to like, um, you know, it's kind of like Thai food, but with a lot more coconut and sweeter, like more of that Islander type of feel to it. Like maybe just kind of like some Thai with some Indian, but mixed with a lot of uh, like Islander cuisine influences, like with the 
the uh, c coconuts and you know the fruits and everything like that. So I think that's the best way that I can explain Indonesian food, which apparently is also very similar to Malaysian and Singaporean food. But overall, a rock and rock and experience here at uh, Simpang Restaurant, and uh, one that I would definitely recommend if you are in the area. With this huge feast that I had, oh man, like there's just so much good food that you can try from in Indonesian cuisine and a sample of what you would find if you were to travel to Indonesia and want to try some of that rockin' food in that country. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rockstar Eater. Wow guys, there was a lot of interesting uh, food. The one thing that I found unique was the sambal egg. That probably would have been uh, good. Uh, chicken saute was, was actually one of my uh, favorite when we tried it at Santa Pan, I believe. And watching this uh, video just made me hungry and reminded me that we do have that food truck here that I need to go to again and try some more uh, or some different food items from uh, their menu. So uh, I love the Indonesian food, especially nasi goreng. Nasi goreng and chicken uh, satay would, you know, I can have it anytime, anywhere, you know, multiple times a day and I wouldn't get uh, bored of it. So uh, this was really, really interesting, guys. Thank you very much for suggesting it. I hope you guys liked it too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like me to react to another video, please put in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Wassalam.